is a trim plate that goes up here. And um, pretty much cut out level with the uh, bolt surface back here. So make it flat and rounded to the shape of the ring gear. So you cut it about that wide. We've marked it with chalk. And then we're also gonna cut some of this out and wrap this up the back, following the shape of the ring gear also. Cut it level with the back of this. So you put these plates in there. And um, that's touching the gear, you don't want that. So you just pick it up a tiny bit, tack it in place, fold these down. Put this one on the back, same thing, keep it off the gear. You wanna maintain, I think at least a quarter of an inch of clearance for the oil to do its job cooling it. And um, I'm gonna move the, uh, gonna move the fill plug over here, passenger side. These little triangle pieces come in the kit and they're for filling in a gap that you're going to end up having. Which is right there where it's red hot. So you just kind of stuff them in there. About to clean it up. Make it look nice. There you go, relocated drain plug. Now I'm going to convert one of my diff studs into a bolt to drain the oil with. Some people do two, but I'm only going to do one. Now here's how you do that. You got to put two nuts on it. Now you got to turn them against each other. With the inside one going to the left until they're tight. Then you can turn it out. Uh, yeah, like that, like a bolt, and we're gonna weld it. There's our new drain plug. And um, I am keeping the old one just offset so that I have the magnet. Alternatively, you could just go to the hardware store and get a bolt that is 8mm by 1.25 STD thread. And you will probably want the threaded portion to be about an inch long or so.